Hey, I'm Ryan, and today we're checking out how to use custom scripts and styles to customize practically anything about your courses and profile. This is a pretty advanced feature, so let's dive in and start with a few simple examples and move into a few more complex ones. The simplest and most common use of this is to add your own Google Analytics or other tracking integration. So let's see how to do that. Google Analytics is an easy one because you just put the same snippet on every single page. You'll find what you need in the admin area. Under property, click tracking info, then tracking code, and copy the stuff in the box here. And now we just have to paste it in the right place on CourseCraft. So from your dashboard, let's click edit, then advanced, and then custom scripts and styles. Since I want to put this on every page of my account, I'll click this link here to edit all my courses and my profile too all at once. Google says to paste it in the head section, so that's this box here. Save and we're done. After visiting a few pages, we can see there is data coming in, so we're all set. Next, let's say you wanted to add a newsletter pop-up to your course's table of contents. CourseCraft does have mailing list integration, but let's say we don't support your provider or you just want a different kind of experience. I'll use MailChimp as an example because they have a nice popover feature. So on MailChimp, I'll choose Sign Up Forms and then Subscriber Pop-Up. You can fiddle with the settings a bit to make it look nice. Then we just copy the code. Over on your CourseCraft dashboard again, Edit, Advanced, Custom Scripts and Styles, just like last time. Then Table of Contents. This time we can paste it in either box, but unless it's specifically recommended to put it in the head, end of body is better, so that's where I'll put it. Save and you're done. Let's take a look by previewing our course. There it is. MailChimp will keep track of who's seen it and who hasn't and not show it to them multiple times, so there's no worries there. Finally, let's do something a bit more advanced. You can change any of CourseCraft's built-in styles to make things look pretty much however you want. So as an example, let's make some customizations to the course and profile headers. This one is pretty deep in the weeds, so bear with me. What we need to do is right-click the thing we want to modify and choose Inspect. These instructions are for Chrome, which I would recommend for this purpose. Uh, this opens up some developer tools, and you can see that we have the top nav highlighted here on the right side. Right-click that and choose Copy Selector from the menu. Now, back over on our Global Scripts and Styles page, we can just add it below the Google Analytics snippet from before, since we want it on all pages. Open a style tag here and paste the selector. This is just plain CSS I'm writing here to change the background color. Now, if we refresh the profile, you can see the top nav is green. Hmm, our logo is also green. Let's fix that by regenerating a new logo with white text. Okay, there we go. Both our profile and all of our courses have a nice green header now. This is just an example, and you can follow the same process with any other elements you want to modify. All right, so I hope you can see the potential of that feature, especially with some web development experience or the help of a web developer, you can do some really cool stuff. So that's it for me today. If you like this video, gently tap the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos about CourseCraft.